professional, obviously they're picked for a reason. They're mathematically balanced and it's great. They'll look good on camera. If you need to go for a girl that's not professional, cast as many girls as possible, or guys, take a picture on your iPhone and see what it's looking behind the camera's eye, because that's really important. Confidence. I mean, I've shot a lot with non-professional models on a shoestring. And when you get them and you take a few pictures, it comes across if they're confident or not. Somebody that's got a really cool energy within their attitude. You want somebody that can perform behind the camera. Do you know what? You've got to say, well, has she got the right hair for what you want to do? Because she could be a beautiful model, but she's not got the right hair. And getting a really great face is so important. Find somebody who's attractive, maybe got something a little bit different. I personally like slight imperfections in faces. I think sometimes the imperfection is what makes people look great. When you look at high-end magazines and high-end fashion models, they're not necessarily beautiful. Look for the model as soon as you can. Take her on a journey, take him on the journey with you, so that you become like a team together. And I think that when someone isn't professional, you need to give them the confidence for them to give you the confidence back. So you need to become a team. You know, teamwork's perfect. <laughs>